What up? This is Adam Quiney from Evergrowth Coaching. What I'm going to talk about today is presence. I, um, my people, um, you, if you're one of them, can often be people of presence. And there's costs and there's just like every aspect of our essence of, of part of our qualities. Our presence can either be, well, it can be used for good or bad, or it can be used in ways that hinder us or allow us to succeed. And so there's no right or wrong to it. It's really a game of noticing how we're showing up in the world. And that sounds easy, but um, it is tough to catch ourselves in our blind spots. So one of the things that is really particular to people of presence is that they, you, are probably quite powerful in the way you dress. You don't, um, like your presence has made manifest, one of the ways it shows up in the world is that you know how to make an outfit. And when you show up in the room, people notice. And it's easy for you to pass that off like, oh, they're just noticing the suit. They're just noticing the crazy pocket square. But the truth is, they're noticing all of you. They're noticing your presence. And the crazy pocket square, etc., is simply a, um, an aspect of that thing underneath that they're noticing. One of the things that people of presence can struggle with in their outfit is that, again, it, it can be a challenge to turn off. And so you may find yourself wearing very good outfits or, um, you know, you may have an experience where people feel like they have to shrink around you or they're intimidated by you or, you know, these are terms often um, leaders of presence here is intimidation. Um, scary. And that's the nature of a presence. That's the nature of having a presence is it can, it's very impactful. You're a very impactful person. And the way you show up can really have a big, a big, powerful blast. So this is one of those things where when people of presence show up with a really loud, you know, kind of thing like this, it cows people and it tells people something before they've even opened my, your mouth, my mouth. You know, as soon as we started this video and you saw this, you had an opinion about me. You know this. And if you don't, check back in because it's there. People with a powerful presence, you, you may hide behind your sense of style. You may show up with bold, powerful, passionate sort of colors like dressed like this. And, and you may even be watching thinking, yeah, I, I, I do that too. That's great. But... This can also be a way to stay very hidden. It can cow people. People can, again, feel intimidated. They can, it can be used to keep people at arm's length. It can be used to get people to like us. We can fall into that trap. And what that leaves us with is that feeling. Oh, they said something nice about me, but they're really, that's my clothes. Like if they really knew underneath this. And what that really is, is a sign of you struggling to own your presence. It's a sign of you struggling to own your presence. And so naturally, you would be triggered by other people that are owning their presence, other people that are showing up a certain way. That's going to that's gonna impact you. You're not going to like that, or you're going to long for that. This isn't to say that you don't already have a great deal of presence. You do. This is who you innately are. The thing, the point that we're really making is that you don't have the ability to calibrate it. And there's certain places where you really struggle to, to be seen. And presence is one of those tools that you can use to sort of keep people out. You know, when people see this, it does create an, it creates an impression that has an impact on people. And it's not that you get to, you know, your impact will show up no matter what. And there's also a safety in people putting their presence out there as a shield because when people don't like it, then you can project that onto the present shield too, uh, the present shield as well. Uh, they said that, they reacted that way to me, but that was really my clothes. They were reacting to that and they just don't know how to be with that. You know, you'd see a lot of this in goth culture when I was growing up because it was so outrageous, people would have a reaction and then it, it kind of allowed a, there's a pushback, you know, they're not rejecting me, they're rejecting this handkerchief that I have. So you likely have an incredible presence and often struggle 
to be as awesome as you actually are. And I use that word really intentionally. You are awesome. You generate awe when you come into the room. You generate awe when you're on a video. Your voice is commanding. These are the qualities that you have and you've learned that they're not safe in a lot of cases. People may throw tomatoes at you. You may offend someone or a lot of people because you have a presence, you have an impact. Sometimes the impact you make can also be destructive as well as creative. And that's in fact how it often is. And that ability to destroy can be a real issue. You can show up intimidating, scary, intense. You know, we could create the list on and on and on. And if this is you that I'm describing, then you should really like, we should have a conversation because that's how we get to yours. But all of these likely resonate. Like if you're one of my people, leaders of presence, these are some of the, the qualities or the experiences or the things that you may want in your life. First, you want an experience of yourself in full awesomeness. You don't want to have this experience of constantly honing yourself and, and pulling back and letting out only so much. And on the flip side, you, you want an experience of being unleashed, of just like, oh, all of your power let out into the world. Because presence makes power dangerous too, right? You have a great deal of power. And one of the things you really want is you want an experience of that power out there in the world. Third, you want to have the impact that you know you're here to make and that you know you aren't making. You are aware that it's not happening. Maybe only a little bit aware, although given the nature of who you are, the nature of your being a leader of presence without even doing any work, you also can feel it's a big gap because you are capable of creating so much impact. You want, um, you crave excitement. You crave to be seen. And you crave this, um, you crave safety in a funny kind of way. Not safety like most people crave it, but safety to know that you will make the impact that you are here to make. <clears throat> There's a fear that you may experience where it's, boy, I'm never like, I'm never going to make my legacy. I'm never, there's never enough work you can do to, to make up for the, that absence of your presence that you feel. And so you are ready to go from that absence, that gap to creating this one to like actually go past a baseline and, and really get clear on what you would create if you were to pour all of who you know you are into what you do and really into who you be. You know, imagine how that would have an impact in relationships. Imagine how that would have an impact in the way you showed up. Maybe even your sense of style would be different. Uh, imagine the impact that would have in your romance. Imagine the impact in your jobs. So um, these are some of the things that I think you may hunger for and who cares? Those are what I think. What is really uh, the, the crux of this, the cornerstone, what really makes this a value is that we draw that out of you. I want to hear what you see for yourself. So if that resonates, if any of that resonates for you, I would like to, um, I would love to get connected a little more deeply than me saying words at the camera on my screen and then you at whoa, got excited you at another point listening to those words let's get live let's actually have a conversation and see what we create out of it so we'll finish up there do reach out if any of this resonates for you if you can see how your sense of style or your any other aspect of your presence can have an impact in your leadership and you want to make a change in that or see something beyond where you currently are at let's talk let's talk Let's connect. Um, let's get to know each other. And uh, if nothing else, you get to see me wear a different jacket. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot.